you back to black site tonight we have breaking news keefe d has been arrested for the murder of tupac shakur 27 years later first i would like for you to subscribe to this channel hit that like button hit that notification button but also comment on this video 27 years ago possibly one of the greatest rappers of all times tupac shakur was murdered in las vegas he got into a scuffle with some gang members, some Crip gang members, and many of you have seen the altercation in the hotel. But hours later, he was gunned down while on a thoroughfare in Las Vegas. Everyone thought that Orlando Anderson was the killer, the guy who let out the rounds. Keefe D said he was in the car, so we know he probably knows who really did it. Only a few weeks ago, the police raided his home, and it seems like they may have compelling information about who, who actually did the murder, who actually was in the car, and who actually should be held responsible, and they believe that Keefe D, a member of the Southside Crips, should be held accountable for his murder. Keefe D has spoken. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm under the weather. He has um, spoken on many platforms about this murder and how it occurred and what happened. He has been extremely open about the situation, but it seems like the police department has gained compelling information that he was truly involved in this situation and that he should be held accountable for this murder. This was a senseless murder. It was a senseless act of violence at that time by Tupac and those who killed him because we had a good brother, a good son, a brother who could speak to the public and the masses would listen. But he end up dead simply over himself trying to be gangster. And he got caught by the gangsters. But Keefe D now is under arrest. He will go to trial, possibly, for this crime. But he's going to speak out even more. Because I believe before he even goes to jail, he's going to let out more information. He has always talked about. Puff Daddy wanting Tupac to be assassinated. That Puff Daddy had a million dollars out of there. You remember that? The million dollars that hasn't been accounted for? So it's a lot deeper than what we think an incident at a hotel. And I believe the police investigation will delve into those issues if Keefe D flips. Keefe D is 60 years old spent a large amount of time of his life in jail. He probably feels as though he has spoken on this issue enough and maybe that he should not be held accountable. He said Orlando Anderson let off the rounds in the back seat of the car. But when you are in the car, just like in a robbery, you are in the car with the guy who's actually robbing, you get charged actually with the same crime. And that's what's happening to Keefe D. This is 27 years later. It took him this long to finally hold someone accountable for their actions. This is truly sad to see that this man will have to face these charges that he was involved in. But so many black men make these mistakes. We are so anxious to kill one another that we are willing to throw away our lives, willing to spend an unprecedented amount of time behind bars just so we can prove to somebody that we're hired or we're gangster. Or my name is going to ring in the streets forever. Your life is behind bars. In this it's a sad story. Eventually, they were going to find someone, and they put it on Keefe. 
Keefe has given so many interviews. He has given so much information. He thought that maybe he was untouchable. Maybe he thought the deal that he got with prosecution, that he would never be prosecuted for any parts of the crime. But they have come calling with Lady Justice. And we'll see what happens because it's a lot of stuff that needs to be discussed about what truly happened. And Keefe D is going to put up a pretty damn good defense. You know people going to come and, and basically try and say he didn't do it. He's going to say he didn't pull the trigger. That's what he's going to say. But evidently, they have enough evidence. And they went into his house. They looked around. They gathered information. They said they gathered some bullets, but they weren't the bullets that were involved in the Tupac killing. So actually, let's see the defense that Keefe D is going to put forward of what happened that night. This is going to be a compelling case. This is going to be a must-watch on court TV case because um, you're going to hear a lot of it, what actually went on. And it's not going to be hearsay no more. They're going to actually bring people who are actually around that time and what happened. But it's because the prosecutor is going to have to build a, a case with witnesses a little bit of hearsay and hear a little bit of truth of what happened that night. So I think Keefe D may be in some serious trouble because they've been wanting to solve this case for the longest. They've been wanting to pin it on somebody for the longest. And the only person that was out there that was truly out there saying stuff, who was truly on site is Keefe D. So he's the one, because he's alive, that they're going to charge with the killing of Tupac. This is sad to see, but this is the time in a moment that we live today. Where crimes will be solved, things will be unearthed. We will see other things that were done in the past that will be unearthed in the truth shall come out. I would love to hear what you have to say in the comment section. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. Hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video. And please, please hit the like button.